But what happens if someone has truly has substance use disorder, addiction, right? They have this change in their brain. What will happen is their midbrain will activate in the absence of highly rewarding chemicals. So they're not getting any dopamine, the pleasure chemical. They're not getting any reward from anything um, because of the way that that part of the brain is broken. And so that part of the brain activates. So they're not being chased by a bear, but the brain thinks that they're gonna die if they don't get this highly rewarding chemical. And so everything else, their logic, willpower, the, everything that was keeping them from using in the first place is quiet and dormant and that reward center is going you have to get this substance now act 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 and the person will generally sort of process that and then start to do that justification that we all do right like you know what i am the primary breadwinner for my family and i can't provide for my family if i can't work and i can't work if i can't sleep therefore i need to drink alcohol or take a xanax or whatever i need to do in order to sleep so I have just rendered willpower useless because I've given myself permission because the part of my brain that is trying to keep me alive is broken and telling me that this is how I will survive.